George is always a good monkey when he's asleep. But no monkey wants to sleep through Saturday. This was a Saturday that cried out for something special. You know what this morning's crying out for? Huh? Donuts! <laughs> Hold on! I, I have to get dressed. I can't go out like this. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm, I'm going. You don't know impatient until you've been a monkey waiting for a donut. How about eggs with those donuts? Hey, count the eggs and write down how many we have. <laughs> Ready. So how many eggs do we have? Hmm. There are no eggs. Well, why didn't you write zero? Oh, oh, ah. oh, you don't know. I thought I was teaching you everything, and I forgot nothing. <laughs> George, no time like the present to learn. Oh, huh? <laughs> you see, zero alone means no eggs. None at all. But zero with other numbers makes them mean a lot more. See, if we write a zero after one, that's ten. <laughs> write another zero, that's a hundred. <laughs> that's a thousand. Ten thousand. Hey, nice zeros, you've got it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'll go in here and buy eggs while you get the donuts, okay? <laughs> One dozen donuts, please. We'll meet back home. And be a good little monkey. <laughs> Someone on a donut mission can't stop and play. Dogs don't understand. <laughs> George was really hungry, but his order only had a measly one on it. Huh. Huh? Then he remembered what the man with the yellow hat had told him about zeros. <laughs> George! Good to see ya. Oh, is that an order for your friend with the yellow hat? <laughs> One hundred dozen? Oh, our biggest order ever! Oh, he must be having a giant donut party! <laughs> George realized what his zeros had done. But try explaining that to a dog. <laughs> okay, now, where did I leave that piece of paper? I misread the order. It's one thousand dozen. Oh, this is the biggest day in the entire history of donuts! We'll have to have more donuts flown in from other towns! Oh. <laughs>